Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be speaking about how you could potentially go about raising funds for your business. Now, everybody has a very nice business idea, but the major challenge is, you know, being able to fund that business idea. And I'm tired of people coming to me and asking me for funds to fund their business. Like there's only so many businesses I can fund. So I decided to put together this video to basically educate you guys as to how you can go about raising funds for your business. You can be, you know, a small, scale entrepreneur you can be looking for funds to invest in your trading in this video I'm gonna be speaking about and I'm gonna be showing you guys four ways you can go about raising funds for your business you only have to do one thing and which is stick around till the end of this video hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Dapa Willis now I'm a serial entrepreneur who just loves to make money online now in this video I'm gonna be speaking to you guys you know and telling you guys four ways you can go about raising money for your business now you can be a small scale entrepreneur you could be looking for you know massive amounts of capital to take your business to the next level or you can just simply be looking for funding for your trading account now a lot of my fx traders out there are looking for a lot of funding for their trading you know to basically help them you know take their hedge fund or take their fund management services to the next level so in this video that's exactly what i'm going to be discussing now before i go into the nitty gritties of this video i want you to do me a little favor i want you guys to go ahead and smash that subscribe button right down there and smash the like button so that i am encouraged so that i keep on making these videos and so that i can keep on helping you guys take your businesses from point a to point b to point c to point d and the rest of that basically keep on helping you grow your business all right guys so the first way you can go about raising cash for your business is um basically approaching a group of people known as sharks now in the financial industry um the finance world uh, they can be classified as sharks but they're actually known as venture capitalists uh, venture capitalists are kind of like the people you see on dragons then if you watch dragons then uh, those people are pretty certain you come across them they sit on they're probably four or five sat in front of a panel they are the panel literally and then you go and present your business idea before them so this is the first way you can go about raising money for your business now you have to remember that these guys that are sat in, that are sat on the panel are uh, um, business people who have been doing business for a very long time. So they're very intelligent business people and they're very skilled and sophisticated investors. So you have to ensure that when you're going to approach these people, you have to have your A game intact. Literally, you have to have your proposals all speak and span. You have to have your cash flow analysis ready because they're going to be asking you a lot, of, a lot of intelligent questions. You have to remember that these guys have been doing, that's the dragons, the sharks, I like to call them the sharks. The sharks, these guys have been doing business for years. And now basically they're using their money. They're letting their money go out there and work for them, you know, to bring back them returns. But they're not just going to release their money to anybody. You have to convince them that your business is viable and then your business is going to protect their capital. And not only protect their capital, but your business is going to yield them return on investment. Now, you have to remember that sharks... You have to be very careful with sharks because from my own experience, if a shark wants to lend you money, be the sharks obviously are known as venture capitalists, they're known as dragons, people on dragons and stuff like that. If they want to lend you money, they are definitely, most certainly and most definitely going to request for equity in your company. Now, um, I always advise people that if you're looking for, you know, sums of money below a million dollars, I don't think you should go to the sharks. If you're looking for funds above a million dollars, then you can go to sharks because i mean if you're going to be risking an not basically risking but if you're going to be parting ways with a certain portion of your business it needs to be worth something it needs to be worth your while so a million dollars you know if you're looking for any way upwards of a million dollars then you can go to the shark but if you're looking for anything less than that i suggest you listen to the next option and i'm going to pre i'm going to be presenting to you guys now guys, the second way you can go about raising funds for your business is by approaching a group of people known as dolphins. Now, in the finance world, dolphins can be classified as financial institution. The banks, the microfinance banks, the small scale um, loan houses and stuff like that, those are known as the dolphins. Now, the dolphins, as you know, are not, are, are not as aggressive as the sharks, but 
they can buy it when they need to buy it okay and the thing about the banks is like same as the sharks you also need to be prepared in terms of your cash flow analysis your proposal everything needs to be speak and span before you can go ahead and approach the dolphins for your you know funding and for you to be able to get money from them and the thing about banks banks are like this they're so tight before they give you money right my days i remember when i wanted to fund my very first um logistics and transportation business i approached a couple of bankers and they wouldn't give me any money the thing about banks you also have to remember is banks only loan to people that do not need money banks only loan to people that already have money it's crazy right it's a crazy world but they need to, this is because they need to cover their own assets banks will never loan to a first time entrepreneur and this is where a lot of entrepreneurs get it wrong they think they can just walk into the bank and then the bank is going to give them all this money or they have this really nice business proposal and then they just package it and then they're going to go to the, they're going to give it to the banks the banks don't operate like that the banks need to see some form of track record they need to see that you've been doing perfectly fine by yourself if you're going to go to the bank and show that your business has been running for a while and that you just need the bank to go from a certain point to another point not from scratch the bank will never give you money to start any business from scratch and you have to understand that the banks are in the business of interest they make money from interest they make money from the interest from they make money from interest that they give to you capital that they give to you and then you pay them back so the interest from that capital given to you is how banks make their money now if you do not if you're unable to pay back that money it is a loss to them and banks do not need they do, they do not like to lose money so just think about it from their own perspective it's not that they hate you or anything it's just the way the business world works so guys the second way to go about raising funds for your business is known as what the dolphins the dolphins are the banks and if you want to go to the banks and ensure that your business has been running for some time and you just need that extra push basically i would go to a bank to fund my business if i needed to expand not if i needed to start it off from scratch all right guys so that's that's pretty much dolphins for you all right guys so the third way you can go about raising cash for your business is known as is basically is approaching a group of people known as the fish now the fish are um, in the business world we like to classify them as the only people dumb enough to learn new business owners money to start their business and the fish are known as or rather they are classified as people in your family or your very very close you know pals and stuff like that so fish are very close relative these people do not um, they're not going to lend you money logically they're going to lend you money based on sentiment um, I'll give you a typical example um, so I'm pretty certain if I called up my grandma and said to my grandmother hi grandma I need some money to start my business obviously she's gonna hesitate before she gives me money but you know if I just fly over to her house and just spend like two weeks there and just you know sulk a little bit just be sad and just tell her how much I love her eventually she's gonna call me over like all right dabs come and tell me what you need this money for I just explain to her a little bit just you know tell her how much I love her and then eventually she's gonna lend me the ten thousand dollars so guys yeah fish are people in your family fish are your close friends who do not invest in your business logically they will invest based on sentiment and they do this just because they love you you know so um, if you want to go about um, raising some money for your business um, your family and close friends are probably a good way to go about it however there's always a downside to that because um you just imagine you, you you borrow money from your family member and you're unable to pay back let's say you haven't really tested the business because they didn't ask you for a cash flow analysis they didn't ask you to project nothing they didn't they, you know they didn't really do their due diligence as to how due diligence as to how you're going to pay this money back and then they give you the money and because they didn't ask all these questions you go and mess up you go and fuck up the money and then you know you're unable to pay back what now happens is that you've gone ahead to jeopardize a relationship with a family member and trust me guys the worst kind of relationships the, the, rather the last kind of relationships you want to jeopardize is that of your family so i encourage you not to borrow money from your family uh, yes i would not be borrowing money from my grandma because um i just don't want a situation whereby i i can't afford to pay her back um 
Obviously, not that I need the money for any investments or anything of that sort. However, I'm just saying in your own situation, don't go around asking family members, except you absolutely need it. Except you absolutely need it, okay? So the shark isn't going to give you money. The fish really isn't going to give you, especially if you're new. The people that are most likely going to give you money are the fish, people in your family, your mom, your dad, your grandma, just like in my case. And you know, stuff like that. All right, guys. Now, guys, the fourth way, and which I think is the best way you should go about raising money for your business, is known as your customers. Your customers, I feel, is the best way to go about raising money for your business. Like, personally, I don't like, I never took money from any bank. I mean, I remember I tried to take money from the bank, they wouldn't give me. I tried to take money from loan sharks. You know but those guys you know it was it was definitely a no-go area so i couldn't get money from you know the the dolphins which are the banks i couldn't get money from the sharks even the fish i mean they were willing to lend me money i'm pretty certain if i called my grandma up at the time i told her i needed xyz amount of money she would have probably wanted to give me the money however you know i you know i wasn't wasn't i also personally wasn't really sure about the business at the time so what did i do i went and created products online products digital products i started to sell my coaching services i started to sell my digital marketing services i started to sell courses and the money I made from all these products online, I now invested it in my trading. And then I now use trading to grow my, you know, my, my capital. And then I took money from trading and then I started to invest in my other businesses. So guys, what I'm trying to say here in essence is that the best way to go about raising funds is from your customers. If your product is good enough, if your product is tested, like let the customers be the judge because a shark can give you money, right? The banks can give you money. You go ahead and create this amazing, this product that in your head you think is amazing. You create the product and then you launch it out to the marketplace and guess what happens? People do not buy. The best way to test any business is putting it out there in the marketplace. The marketplace is always the best judge of your product. And if your product is good enough, if your product is nice enough, if your product is appealing enough, people will buy the product and customers will pay you for that product or that service. So that's basically the best way to go about raising money for your business. I have a lot of friends who come to me and they want me to invest money in their businesses. And I always tell them that, hey guys, if your product is good enough, launch a few. Now guys, I have this strategy. Now I'm gonna round this up with this strategy, right? Even if you do not have it, let's say you wanna build this amazing product. Like for some of the products that I have, what I like to do is I like to basically go ahead and launch an event, okay? And I raise funds during the event. Let's say the product is supposed to launch in June, right? I like to host an event in January, tell people about this amazing product, um, sell them on the idea, have them pay for the product that is not complete yet. And then the money that they pay for this product, I then go ahead and use that money to develop the product. So guys, these are the four ways you can go about, you know, raising funds for your business. So you use your customers to basically pay for the basics of your business, to pay for the basics of, you know, product creation. And then you can go ahead and speak to the banks you can then use so is get money from customers build the business and then get money from the banks to expand never use banks to start up your business only use banks sharks and fishes to expand your business only use um sorry customers are for product creation customers are to basically get you started after you get started maybe your grandma or your mom or your dad can invest so that you can scale the business and then you can now obviously have a very viable business that has a track record and then you can now go up to the to the dolphins which are the banks and then the banks can even loan you more money so typically a bank will typically loan you between 250 to 1 million us dollars and then once you've got into a, a stage whereby you know you you have you know an office running you have you know um, products are basically products are being pushed out and clients are paying you for these products now you can now approach the sharks who are going to invest like guys the the venture capitalists do have a lot of money they have so much money and trust me once you've been able to get your business up to a certain extent the sharks will be definitely definitely glad to invest in your business now guys i hope i've been able to educate you guys as to how you can go about raising funds for your business before you go anywhere i want you guys if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and smash the subscribe button and drop me a comment and tell me which of these 
tell me which of these forms of raising cash you're going to be looking into and if you have a nice business idea just type it in the comment section below and then we can have a chat all right guys thank you so much for watching till the very end and i love you guys very much all right guys take it away